I'm sharing today about um, some Kabbalah information and how we can apply it to our real life. So there were a lot of things here take, that I got from the um, Kabbalah Center of New York. And um, we recently had the holiday of Tuba Shvat, 15th of Shvat. Tesvav is uh, 15, and Shvat is um, the, 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 uh, the month. So Tuba Shvat is how we say it in short. Tesvav sounds like two. And Tes and Vav is nine and six. Usually we would say Yud and He is 15. But because that's part of God's name, we usually don't say it. It's like a little too close for comfort, kind of, for the Jewish tradition. So, on it, you know, the New Year's of the trees, there's a lot of Kabbalistic insights. So first of all, we have the seed, which is our desire. Then we have the roots, which is our thoughts. The trunk is our emotions. And the branches are our actions. We have... So think of it as coming, rising up. We have the seed of the desire, the trunk is coming, the emotions that come from the thoughts, which lead to the branches, which are actions, and the leaves are the words, and then the fruit is the reality. And we've created that from the desire to the reality. When we manifest potential energy as positive through our intentions, whether it's from thought or speech or whatever, everything is, all Genesis comes from intentions. We are taking accountability for what desires we are having. The thought is the realm of neshama, which is soul. The speech is the realm of ruach, which is spirit. And the action is the realm of nefesh, which is body. If my desire is to achieve holiness in this physical world, I'll bring that through me from above as an injection of holiness. And at conception, if there's love and unity intentions, they'll draw, I mean, conception of a body, right? We're talking about the seed of a human also. The, at, at this conception of the seed and the egg, if the love and unity is the intention, then there will be a holy soul, soul drawn into the world. So pure intentions proactively focused on, we receive to share the light versus if we will bring what we call like Satan or sat satanic energy, the intention, which is just for myself alone in a not enoughness, temporary fix. There's, you know, the, the recogni like, like whether I want to be recognized, the recognition need or the need for to possess. In other words, I want just for me, not for anyone else, just me. Chas v'shalom, God forbid. We think more of like the left side, the receiving side is where the negativity can come in more easily. It's vulnerable because it could receive. So if we, if we want to receive, but we only want to receive for ourselves, negative can come in. That's, you know, we say even the left eye and the right eye, the left eye is like we could say is, could be where the evil eye, where we could perceive others um, or observe with a view of my own self in a lack there, which creates the most negative energy can only share our blessings with those who love us or can handle us. That's a subtle way of saying it, but really it could be even wishing harm. Um, when we think of the the for, the mothers and the fathers of, of the Jewish people, the you know Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and then Rachel, you know, and Leah, and, and sorry, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, and Leah. Rachel, Rachel reached the highest level of baseless compassion, unconditional love. She's identified as mother. And then when we think of what are inspirational thoughts, they're things like, I have something to offer, I'm needed, my company and presence is enough, I'm accepted, I belong, I'm wanted and welcomed, I feel supported to, intended, cared, to, cared for, valued, I'm growing, I am a gratitude, I matter and my needs are valid and understandable, I am good and doing a good job and people love spending time with me. All I have to do is show up, I have everything available to me and I have what it takes. And then I started bringing this Kabbalistic insights into myself, kind of like um, when we think of food, um, you know, to be nurtured physically so I could do my sp spiritual work, right? But if we are like, like food is going to reveal the process after we've taken the energy in that we're carrying. Like, for example, if I only want to receive from me, like I want to eat a lot, a lot, a lot of by myself, only for me, um, I would say that could, that could let in negative energy. But if I want to have enough energy to do my work in the world and to show up with a with with positive uh, outlook. Then we could say, you know, um, it'll be uh, bringing in uh, a nurture so that we could do our spiritual work. And this is true with relationships, work, 
any kind of help, we have to keep checking in and asking ourselves, why are we doing this? What's our intention? It is essential to do this with love because it's unfulfilling to see, to do seemingly positive things for everyone's approval. And then we loathe everything and everyone. It has to be from the heart. Otherwise, we end up, like I said, with resentment. So we know our pure intentions were there just to make people happy. If they're happy, it's fine. They don't need to serve us. So these are shifts that are available. I was journaling. I want to remind my whoever's listening, most of this material is about three to four years old. could be less. Um, but it's about this time of year because we're still in the month of Shvat. We're about to be in the month of Adar this Friday. So it's, you know, it's, it's the energy of the month even. So these shifts that are possible is we are, you know, my fakeness in trying to say the right thing and be nice, I could rather come from silence, come from the heart. And when it comes to a job, I could see how it could be more of service without caring only about returns, like not worrying about um, receiving back time, energy, money, like from the people I work with or my boss. And also with relationships that, I mean, at this point, I see this very differently, but with relationships that are sexual or... um, you know, partnership, um, being overly compromising or trying to seduce is instead finding other ways to be affectionate or sensual together, even if I'm not in the mood, which now I see it differently, like um, more like the the bonding doesn't have to be touched. It doesn't, and even sensual could be enjoying a beautiful sunset together. It's, uh, there's intimacy there. And now we're going to talk like uh, a little bit about a general Kabbalistic idea, which is the four kingdoms. We have inanimate, we have vegetation, Inanimate could be a rock. Vegetation could be a flower. Animals like could be a, um, you know, a giraffe or a lion. Humans are the speakers. We can cause miracles with our words and give blessing. We can heal with our words. We can co-create manifestation with light. And that's where, that's where the idea of abracadabra is from avaracadabra. I create as I speak. Words can create angels which um, support us or pave life on our path or prosecute us. Um, when we speak evil words, like from that evil eye kind of energy, we can cause um, evil energy to come. So the evil tongue, like I mentioned evil eye, we have evil tongue. When we make excuses, false flattery, lies, telling people toxic things, empty promises and commitments, talking when we're just trying to fill the silence, gossiping, cursing, obscenities, wishing bad, denying what's real, and getting addicted to should have, could have, must, have to kind of judgments. And these drain our energy. They give it to the shells, the klipot, the husks. They're like black hole energy. And when we, rather, we could use words of appreciation, um, which create more of itself versus the complaining words, which create more of their self. Their angels are very powerful from our words. And um, we are given capacity by our trustee, our manager, God, who spoke the world into being, gave us the ability as speakers, not like the rocks or the, not like the inanimate or the vegetation or even the animals. Even a parrot is not speaking in the way that we speak. And so we were given this as a gift. We have our speech, which is our voice. We were given other gifts also. We were given our mind, which can have thoughts. And we were given our body, which can have actions. And it's our choice to have good intentions and use it in the right way. And I will stop here. I look forward to sharing great things tomorrow. And uh, best wishes to you. Have a blessed evening.